What's up my friends, it's Mike again. Glad to have you guys back for another video about True Wireless Earbuds. So I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus for a while now and I gotta say it's undeniably one of the best everyday earbuds out there on the market right now. So today I'm gonna save you a ton of time by showing you the first seven things that you should do when you get your new earbuds to get the best sound quality, user experience, and to make the most out of your money and make sure you not miss any hidden features that I'm about to show you. And also we're doing a giveaway so make sure you stick around for the details and without further ado, let's Let's get right into it. Okay, so before we start, make sure you download the app onto your phone. It's available on Android and iOS now so that you can update your earbuds. If your Buds Plus doesn't have the latest update, it might not be able to access everything that we're gonna cover today. So when you get into the app, the first thing you should do is set your equalizer to dynamic. That is the best equalizer setting in my opinion because with bass boost, soft, clear, and treble, it's either too bassy and very muddy, or it's bassless and very hollow sounding. So the dynamic equalizer will give you a very satisfying and deep bass without overpowering the mids and highs, giving you a very crisp, clean, and balanced sound. And besides this, if your main device is a phone, there's also an equalizer within your phone. So make sure you go to the settings and change that equalizer as well. So on my iOS device, if you go into music, uh, you can actually choose the equalizer settings themselves over there. So you kind of have a dual stacked equalizer going. Your device might have a different type of equalizer in it. I just want to make sure you're aware of that so that you can fine tune the sounds to your ears. And by the way, if you're using the earbuds on your Android, there's actually a volume setting for your phone and for the earbuds. So make sure your volume media is synced so that they both have the same volume because if it's only at 60% and you max out the volume on your earbuds, you're only gonna get 60% of volume and that's where people say your earbuds aren't loud enough and it's just because the volume media isn't synced to 100%. Now the second thing that you should do is to adjust your ambient sound. For myself, I usually put it on low to medium because anything above that is gonna give you a white hiss kind of noise when nothing's playing and it's actually really sharp hearing everything that's outside so it's very unpleasant especially when there's wind noise. And for some reason, if you want your ambient sound to be even louder, go into labs and there's a extra high volume ambient volume option for you. So when you enable it and when you go back, there's a fourth option for you that gives you like super hearing powers. And when you're talking with this mode on, it, your voice sounds like it's on speakers and you can actually hear people's conversations like right across from you when you're at the mall, but everything is really sharp, really loud. And I don't like that. But if you're into that kind of thing, there's an option for you to do that. Now the third thing that you can configure is this touchpad. So with the single, double, and triple tap, it's all fixed. You can't control that. The only thing you can customize is the touch and hold. The thing here is that it's kind of limiting because when you choose to toggle your volume up and down, you will not be able to access the voice command or toggle the ambient mode on and off. However, there is a solution around this. The good people in my comments section actually told me that in labs, you can actually activate double tap on the edge to control your volume up and down. So with that enabled, I can actually control the volume just by double tapping the back of my ear. So you can double tap the front of it as well, as long as you're not touching the touchpad part. So this is actually pretty cool. Now you actually have all the controls of your wireless earbud, which is not seen in many of the other earbuds. So the fourth thing that you should enable is in the advanced section. You should turn on the ambient mode while you're on call so that you can hear your own voice because if you don't, it actually sounds like you have your fingers plugging your ears and you can't really hear your own voice. And because of this, you might be like talking louder than you're supposed to because you can't hear your own voice. So uh, if you don't want to be screaming at the other person on the phone or look weird in public, um, turn it on. And number five, these earbuds actually have a hot swappable Bluetooth connection, meaning that you can jump from your current device to your next device very easily just by pressing on it. But before that, your earbuds actually remember up to eight devices and to register a new one, all you gotta do is hold both of your earbuds at the same time until it starts its pairing process. And now it becomes discoverable for your new device to pair to it. And once you have all the devices that you need paired, all you gotta do is go into Bluetooth settings and press on it. You don't need to disconnect or repair or anything like that. It's very convenient. And by the way, all the settings that we've saved before, like the sound equalizer, the touch controls, and the ambient mode, it's gonna be saved no matter which device that you jump to. So whether you're using an Android, Apple device, or even your laptop, all the settings are gonna be the same. And that's why the Buds Plus are awesome. So number six, after you've done all that, you can go and enjoy your earbud. However, if it still doesn't sound good, like there's not enough bass or the fit is bad, it's probably your fit that needs fixing. So in the box, it actually comes with two extra pairs of silicone tips. So for myself, I'm using the large wing tip to get an extra secure fit around my ear. And I'm using the medium sized ear tip to get a complete seal around my ear for a really good sound. So for you, it's gonna be different. You're gonna have to try which one 
fits the best for you. And number seven, the last thing you want to do is if you already have the original buds, you might not want to throw them away because the case actually works with the new buds plus as well. So if your new case dies for some reason or gets scratched or crushed or whatever, your new earbuds are actually going to work in the case as a backup. So if you're someone who loses the case or has broken a case in the past and is worried, uh, you should keep the old ones. So there you have it guys, those are the best settings to get the most out of your new Galaxy Buds Plus. They're definitely one of my favorite earbuds out there. And if you wanna win one of these bad boys, make sure you enter in the giveaway. So this is actually the same giveaway as my previous video. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's right here. You have a chance to win the Galaxy Buds Plus if you number one, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn post notifications on. Number two, follow my Instagram. And number three, subscribe to my newsletter on my website, link is down below. The winner will be announced on my Instagram on March 25th and with that being said, I really hope that this video has helped you out to make the most out of your Buds Plus. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the very next video. Bye.